ICT said this is one of the most important, important factors to when trading. Now I had to sit through a three and a half hour long video just for him to tell me in the last 15 minutes the most important factors of actual trading. Now I'm going to be breaking it down in literally five minutes for you guys and if you can't sit through this five minute video then you've got zero hope at trading at all. Just go back to your normal jobs. Now jumping straight into it. Now ICT says basically that the market moves on liquidity. Liquidity is the most important, important factor of trading that not a lot of people take into account. A lot of retail traders do not use liquidity at all. Whatever you're looking at within the chart, every single thing, every move is liquidity. You guys need to understand how to actually use this to your advantage. So I'm going to be jumping straight into it and actually helping you guys how to identify liquidity, what, I, uh, what liquidity is and what sort of role it plays within the market. So first things first, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to identify liquidity, okay? So how to identify liquidity, okay? So this is the first most basic things we need to understand is how to actually identify liquidity. So first things first, we're going to have price doing whatever it wants. For example, let's just say that this is a chart. Okay, for example, let's have let, let's say that this is a chart, right? This is price action. How are we going to identify liquidity? Very simple. Make sure you guys take this down. Liquidity is basically just going to be either session highs or significant highs and lows. So session highs and lows or significant highs and lows. So again here, for example, this, let's mark this out as, as liquidity. Okay. This high would be a liquidity area. This low would be a liquidity area. It's very, very, very simple, guys. Now, the best thing is you want to mark these out before your session start. So you can look at all the videos on our channel. We've got a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of strategies based on pure liquidity getting taken and liquidity sweeps and liquidity rates, etc. whatever you guys want to call them. So... How do we actually use liquidity to our advantage? Now, what do most retail traders do? Most retail traders will wait for this liquidity to be taken and then expect a break and retest or whatever they say and a continuation. However, this is wrong. Below every, so so the buy side of liquidity is called buy side liquidity, bottom side is called sell side liquidity. Under each sell side liquidity, there is buy stops. Above buy side liquidity, there is sell stops. So when our sell side liquidity gets taken, those buy stops, right, the institutional side, buy stops get activated. And that is why these retail traders who are bidding to go short lose. Okay, I hope this makes sense. So I'll show you guys in uh, live examples anyways. So when sell side gets taken, you should be looking for buyers. Now, even on higher time frame, when session highs and lows get taken or or significant lows and highs gets taken, always understand that there's buy stops and sell stops straight underneath. So for example, now let me actually show you guys the opposite side of the end. If price travels and takes out buy side liquidity, there's sell stops above here for us to get short. Okay, guys. Now, when liquidity gets taken, it doesn't need to be a candle closure above nor does it need to be a candle closure uh, below or whatever. It can be literally as simple as literally just a candle wicking, wicking itself and then coming back below. That can be, it can be as simple as that, okay? So it doesn't have to be a candle closure uh, above or below. Now, how do we actually use this to our advantage? Now, I'll show you guys a very simple strategy. Um, purely based on liquidity and just uh, a few other patterns. So first things first, I'm going to show you now. This is very, very key. This is a little secret that I'm going to let you guys know on one of the strategies I actually trade myself that actually got me one of my payouts. I'll actually show you guys now. So do join the Telegram in the link below. Now below, as you can see here, my most recent payout was £7,500 on the 3rd of May, was, which was literally a couple of days ago. Within this Telegram channel, we share all uh, trade breakdowns, 
um, new content that's going to be coming out um, and a lot of free value. So please do join that. Link is going to be below. Um, a lot of value in there, completely free. So this specific strategy actually got me um, that £7,500 payout. So first things first, right? You're going to you're gonna um, delineate the London kill zone, okay? London kill zone. So for example, London kill zone. What is London kill zone? Let me just note that down for you guys. London kill zone is 2 a.m. So 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And this is New York timing okay so that's in new york time and so let me just label this london kill zone now this is ict's london kill zone so make sure you note this down if you want to change your um trading view time into new york simply um just click toggle this uh, time in bottom right corner of trading view and go to new york so first things first you want to mark out your london kill zone so 2 a.m to 5 a.m so let me mark that out here 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Done. Now, this is where liquidity comes into play. You're going to be on the 15 minute time frame, right? Prior to your session starting, you're going to let price do whatever it likes. Blah, blah, blah. It can do whatever it likes, right? Now, as soon as it comes to your session start, you're going to mark out your liquidity areas. What did I say? Significant lows significant highs they're going to be your liquidity areas all right so i'm going to mark these out as liquidity now this is a very very straightforward strategy that i'm showing you guys here so when your london session starts you are now actively waiting for one of your buy side or sell side to be taken now for example if sell side gets taken you are going to be looking for buys now as soon as sell side gets taken right what are you anticipating, right? This is going to be your entry confirmation. Drop into one minute. And wait. Bullish engulfing. And obviously, if you was looking for sales, you'll be waiting for a bearish engulfing. So drop into the one minute. And then as soon as you get... Uh, let's mark this out in red. As soon as you get that bullish engulfing, that is your cue to enter. So your liquidity has been swept. Okay, liquidity, the one of the most con most important concepts to trade in. Liquidity has been taken. Then you're also using kill zone, ICT kill zone. Now you've got a bullish engulfing. All the confluences are now matching up. Stops right below the low. Then you're um, going to be targeting opposing liquidity. And then you literally just enter. And then uh, your trade progresses to TP. So I'll be showing you guys a live example right now. Um, but that's what liquidity is. One of the most important concepts to trade. And as ICT says, we're also going to be using the kill zone. And this is just a short strategy um, actually involving liquidity, just so you guys can get sort of an understanding of how to use liquidity. Um, but this is a very basic strategy. We do teach very in-depth strategies in our free Telegram. So do join that below. Remember, the link is going to be below our totally free Telegram, okay? Do join that below. So jumping straight into a live example for my London and New York kill zone. So as you can see, London, New York from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. If you guys do want to use this indicator, it's called KZ Boxes. These are the settings. If you want to use the exact same settings as me, um, the sort of style. But it just makes it much easier so I don't have to mark anything out. So... First things first, you're on the 15 minute time frame, right? Before London session begins. Okay, so London session starts with this candle. What are you going to do? What did I say you have to do? You have to mark out your liquidity areas. Now, what is the liquidity? The significant lows and highs. So we've got the low here. So that's going to be a liquidity level. And let's mark out this high here. It's going to be an area of liquidity. I'm going to mark this as liquidity. Now, what you do is simply wait for London to begin. You can drop into the one minute and watch from there. I do personally like watching from the one minute time frame. It just makes it much easier. Okay, look, bang. Liquidity swept. Done. Remember, it doesn't have to be a closure above. If it is a closure above, fair enough. Now what do you wait for? A bearish engulfing. Bearish engulfing pattern. Do we get a bearish engulfing pattern? Okay, no, that's not a bearish engulfing. Okay, done, what is this? Bearish engulfing. 
amazing. You have to wait for that bearish engulfing. Don't get scared that price is moving away and you missed out on the move. No bearish engulfing, no entry, okay? Stops just above the high. Target opposing liquidity can be this sort of significant low here if you like. Um, don't be shooting for the moon with this strategy. It's a very basic strategy. One to two, one to, um, literally one to twos is enough. And then you let, so where is one to two? I'm going to place it right at one to two. Let price do its thing. And as you can see, TP gets swept. Okay. Very simple strategy. A uh, very, very simple concept. Most important concept, liquidity. Okay, guys, hope you enjoy that video. Again, do join our free telegram. Lots of value in there. Um, this is a very short breakdown on one of the most important concepts sent to ICT, which is liquidity. Um, and I also chucked in a little strategy video uh, for you guys as well. But I hope 